Oh, you're a Pokemon fan? Name this character. Yeah, I thought not. Way too obscure. Alright then, how about this one? Candace? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Pokemon Ga Ole, the video game you probably never played, let alone heard of. This is a Pokemon arcade game by Takara Tomy that only exists in Japan. And it's not some random old game, this is very recent and was still supported recently. So what is it? Well, it's a Pokemon arcade game that dispenses cards to be used for the machine. The more you play, the more cards you get that you can use for subsequent games. We have games like this here in the US, most notably the Marvel Tournament of Champions that's a fighting game with a card scanner. It dispenses these neat little pieces of cardboard. This type of game is pretty common in Japanese arcades and is pretty cool, as they resemble mobile gacha games, but can have better graphics and a physical aspect. But Pokemon Ga Ole uses what they call discs, and is based around Pokemon. I would have more experience and my own footage if my 2020 trip to Japan had planned out, but we all know how that went. But I did actually find some of the chips used in Ga Ole at a store near me that sells used Japanese goods. And thankfully, Takara Tomi has a demonstration on their channel with some English subtitles. You scan in your discs, power up by pressing buttons, catch Pokemon with a cool joystick, and earn more discs. The graphics look nice and it seems like a fun gameplay loop with a collectible element. I think this is actually the best way to go about a Pokemon arcade game. But where things get really interesting is the amount of original characters used in this game as trainers to battle. It's insane how many there are simply because the same care put into every other character design in Pokemon is present. The human characters are practically enough to keep some people interested in Pokemon as a franchise, and rightfully so. And now there's an entire world of trainers a lot of us have just never seen. Chef Girl, Sweaty Guy, Tomboy Construction Worker, Me IRL, Pop Idol, Shy Girl, and the most powerful maid I have ever seen. All of that seems pretty cool, right? Well guess what, this game that I've been talking about and just heard of recently? Get that out of here, because that's old news. Because with Generation 8, we have Pokemon Mesostar, which is pretty much the same thing, but the sequel, the next step, the next generation, and guess what? There was also even a game before these called Pokemon Treta, and one before that called Pokemon Batrio, all developed by Takara Tomy, and they all have a similar gameplay loop with similar chips. There's a YouTube channel and Twitter account for Pokemon Mesostar constantly posting new content because the games have a whole fanbase in Japan where the game continues to receive support. There is a Pokemon Mesostar collaboration with McDonald's. Feraligon! Gator is in the game! There is an entire world of Pokemon games that most of us have just never played. But with all of this effort that's put into Pokemon Mesostar, and seeing as we're already four games deep, I can't help but ask myself, why haven't we got this outside of Japan? I think the obvious answer is that they're arcade games which would require shipping over a huge proprietary product after translating the actual software and discs. And then you would need arcades to house them. Here in the US, arcades are nowhere near the level of Japan. Sure, Dave & Buster's is cool and pretty big, and they've even got Mario Kart and Mario and & Sonic at the Olympic Games. There are already Nintendo arcade games. But then again, they also still have Ski Ball and the SpongeBob Coin Pusher and Pac-Man Air Hockey, so it probably wouldn't fit in with the American gimmicks. Even in Round 1, which features more Japanese arcade games, it probably wouldn't be the best place to attract every Pokemon fan. The ironic truth is that even though Pokemon is one of the biggest media franchises in the world, a Pokemon arcade game would be way too niche. And it's just not worth it to bring these games over here. The aforementioned Mario games are easy to get into and just a bit more recognizable. Pokemon Tournament started out as an arcade game, but since it was a fighting game, it was easy to port it to consoles and release worldwide so there was no need to bring the arcade machines over, though they did for a limited time. The other Pokemon arcade games are built off of the collectible aspect, so they can't just be ported to consoles as easily. We're at the point that if we never got one, we'll probably never get the others. But honestly, I'm not too upset about it. The gameplay looks just okay. Even though I would love to be able to just chill out in an arcade for a bit and get some new discs while using my own collection, I feel like it's an experience I'm fine with missing. The work put into these games is still admirable and it's some great diversity for Pokemon spin-off games. I'm sure it'll be a nice experience when I eventually do get the chance to visit 
visit Japan for myself. But until then, this has been the world of Pokemon Arcade Games. But anyway, hey, this is GatorX, and let me know what you think about, yeah, uh, basically all of the Pokemon arcade games. We got uh, Pokemon Batrio, Pokemon Tretta, Pokemon Gaole, and then Mesostar, the current one. Uh, yeah, that is basically what happened. Uh, I was going to talk about Gaole while I was looking into things uh, after I found out about it. Uh, I had basically always kind of known about it, but I kind of wanted to go deeper. And uh, while I was reading things, uh, while I was writing the script, I'm like, oh wait, Gaole isn't the current one, Mesostar is the current one. So that's basically uh, how the video went. Uh, but it's pretty interesting, uh, you know, I guess some of the more interesting character designs are in Gaole, that was a Gen 7 one, so that was kind of neat. And from the characters that you have seen of Pokemon Gaole, which would you say is your favorite? Honestly, I think they're all pretty cool, the skater's pretty neat, but the maid is just way too powerful, and I, I, I love her. A maid with Reggie Pokemon, that's amazing. And, uh, you know, a big thing also was more recently, I did actually, yeah, find the actual discs that are used for the game. They're nothing too special. They're basically kind of uh, just pieces of uh, thick plastic, and they probably just use a QR code that's on them, pretty obviously. But I think they're pretty neat. Uh, I kind of actually just want to pick up some more of them, even though I, you know, can't use them. Uh, they're just a, like a neat little thing to have that I just think is um yeah, it's just really cool pokemon mesostar is real real interesting just kind of seeing how they've just shifted over to that completely and how hard they're uh promoting it i guess and supporting it the whole youtube channel is pretty interesting you know i just dove in into just watching a bunch of those videos even though i can't understand them they're pretty neat and pretty appealing for one reason or another but uh, I think it'd be really cool if we ever got anything like this in the US, but obviously we're not gonna we're not gonna get anything uh, We're not gonna get these games or you know anything similar, but it's just something pretty neat and uh, There are just you know so many Japanese Pokemon games that we just never get you know again a lot of them are pretty um, Japanese specific I guess and a lot of them kind of in a way wouldn't make sense to bring over here but I just, I, I would just love if, we, you know, everybody could get everything that, uh, you know, all pieces of entertainment <laughs> for Pokemon. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to show your support. You can enable notifications by clicking that bell icon. It'll make sure you see each new video as it comes out. There's also the uh, heart button down below if you'd like to uh, further support me and you think I deserve it. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, this has been Gatorx. Have a nice day.